thank heavens you're here. They imprisoned me for almost no good reason. By Bell, since when have we had to pay for parking around here? Don't worry. We're always there for our friends. We've managed to... You've managed to collect all the shards? Bravo! Gedefix said that once it was complete, the Crystal Mene should point the way to Avena. Yep. My men here is definitely talented. A men here capable of identifying its manufacturer is pretty strange. Shh! It's saying something. Many a talk cannot be understood by us mere mortals, economic crisis. Men here, men here, in my hand, where is Avena across the lands? Incredible! It works! Do you know how to get there, economic crisis? Yes, Skulls. And so do you. All roads lead to... Rome! As economic crisis so subtly put it, all roads do indeed lead to Rome as to all shipping routes. Our optimistic heroes set off on the Phoenician's boat for their fourth trip across the seas. They soon washed up on a beach in Ostia, and as they said farewell, economic crisis shed a tear of joy upon realizing he had completed the last free trip he owed them. With one last backward glance at the Phoenician trader, our two heroes and their little dog set off to the Roman capital more determined than ever before. Over to you, Asterix! Over to you, Obelix! Finally! You made it! The two Gaulish dog's bodies I called on for the cleaning! I'm Facus Newsus, head of Caesar's Gardens. I thought you'd never come. Do we know this Roman, Asterix? It could work out as a quid pro quo, Obelix. It's all Latin to me. You Gauls are all the same. When you're not late, you're busy striking. And vice versa. What's happening, Roman? A special event? Of course! It's Caesar's Heritage Day! The only day of the year when the people of Rome are invited to come and marvel at Caesar's assets. His villas, palaces, 
forum and gardens. And Romans actually enjoy it? These Romans are truly crazy. Anyway, enough with the chatter. We're running late. Late? Are you meant to be somewhere, Fakers Newsers? No time for dilly-dallying. The gardens are in a state. That's what Caesar said. From the tops of the cedar trees to the depths of the fountains, the gardens must be as perfect as he is. And, as we say here, labor omnia vincit improbus. So we're going to be gardening, Asterix? It's just a cover, Obelix. The goal is still to find Athena. Luckily, we have your men here to guide us. So true. We'd be lost without it. Feels good to be back in Rome, doesn't it, Asterix? I like this city, but I wouldn't live here. Over to you, Asterix! Asterix! Over to you, Asterix!
over to you, Asterix. Over to you, Asterix! Over to you, Asterix! Over to you, Obelix! Over to you, Asterix!
Asterix, remember when Caesar built an arcade in the middle of Rome? Yes, I do remember. That was a crazy idea. Over to you, Obelix! Asterix, I'm hungry. Why don't we go and find a nice Gaulish inn or a Roman tavern? This isn't the time, Obelix. Over to you, Obelix! Asterix!
Over to you, Obelix! Over to you, Asterix! Asterix, where's Caesar? He must be hiding somewhere. Over to you, Obelix! Come on, Obelix. Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'm doing what I can, your lordship. Over to you, Obelix!
I'm not, because I fell into it when I was not, not, not. Over to you, Obelix! Over to you, Asterix! Over to you, Obelix!
Asterix, I think my man here is whispering something. I thought you were the many whisperer, Obelix. I'm not joking, Asterix. All right. So what's the many saying then? <sighs> it's saying to watch out. For once, I agree with it. Welcome, Gauls. Do you come bearing gifts? A surprise, perhaps? Not this time, Honourable Julius. I'll let you get back to your reunions, then. I have gardens to, uh, Eternum Valley, Gauls. We've come to get Avina Gandir, and we know you're keeping her here in your palace. Indeed. I captured her in order to vanquish her people more easily, and the island of Thule is now under my dominion. Sivis passem parabellum, as I always say. I didn't let you in to rescue her, but to relieve you of the sniffle. The sniff. The, the slash sniff. Ah! Give me the magic stone! See, Asterix? He doesn't even know it's called a crystal men here. Silence! Marcus Ginatonicus reports have given me some idea of the Menea's powers. And don't worry, I shall use it wisely. Julius, you must surely understand that we can't give you what doesn't belong to us. This rock belongs to Avena. You want to toy with me, Gauls? Very well. In that case, game on. Alea Jacta Est! I don't have enough energy for that.
I don't have enough energy for that. You won't escape me this time, Gauls! Be careful, Obelix! This tool is trying to pinch the crystal men here! Obelix! The men here! Too late! <laughs> well done, Marcus Ginatonicus! You've won yourself a trip to Gaul! To Gaul? But why, noble Caesar? You shall accompany me and my army to Armorica. This shall be your last mission before moving back to Rome. Using the Crystal Menea, we shall freeze their pesky druid's magic potion, Cauldron. Then, we'll use it to attract all the abominable Gaul's weapons and leave their ghastly village in ashes. All of Gaul shall then be occupied. All, Caesar? And what about them? Lock them away with the woman they sought to free. Thanks. Thanks to you, Dogmatics. We're finally free. Free at last. Don't go overboard, Obelix. I don't have enough energy for that. Avina! Is that you, Avina? Yes, it's me. Who are you? Gauls? I'm Asterix, and this is my friend Obelix. Getafix sent us here to free you. Getafix? So you got my letter? Please, tell me the Schneifel Hergejirkel is still safe and sound. Should we tell her it's called the Crystal Men here now, Asterix? Unfortunately, the Sacred Rock has fallen into Caesar's hands, and he plans to use it against our village. I can see the headlines now. All of Gaul entirely occupied by the Romans. Entirely, yes! There's no time to lose. Hurry up and find a way of freeing me. Courage, proud warriors of Vertingetorix! Thank you, Gauls. Time is running out, Avina. Caesar's fleet has set sail. But we can't count on economic crisis's help anymore. Let's hurry to the port of Ostia. We must be able to find a boat to take us to Gaul. Our heroes rushed to the port of Ostia, where they found an abandoned rowing boat and set off for Gaul. Along the way, they had the pleasure of meeting some old friends, a gang of merry pirates. Strangely enough, the pirate ship mysteriously sank straight after the happy reunion. 
the coast of Armorica soon pulled into sight. Look, it's our bard, Cacophonix. Hey, Cacophonix, over here! The Romans! The other side of the village is crawling with Romans! I hope Getafix has given everyone some magic potion. Getafix has been frozen in ice. The Romans are using a crane to move the crystal menhir around. It's destroying everything in its path. Poor, poor Getafix. They also set fire to our entire stock of potion. And all our weapons flew out of the village as if by magic. They seem to be waiting for more backup before they launch their final attack. Do you know where Caesar is, Cacophonix? He's watching the action from afar. He's delighted. The village is falling, Asterix. We'll have to surrender. No, we shall fight them until the very end. Come on, Obelix. Time to show the Romans we mean business. I'll make the Romans my business. I'm going to try and defrost poor Getafix. Now we're alone, Caesar. I have a little surprise for you. You'll see it's lovely and chilled. By Jupiter, Ginotonicus, what's come over you? A sudden desire to seize you, Caesar! Traitor! Imposter! Veni, vidi, vici! Ha ha ha! What a fine day to wreak havoc on Caesar and that pesky Gaulish village! I am the new Caesar, and it's thanks to me that Gaul has finally been conquered! Haven't you forgotten something, Marcus? Asterix? Obelix? What are you doing here? We've come to free our village, but we saw you turn Julius into ice. Freezing Julius? That Caesar Genotonicus is crazy! Soldiers, on guard! These Gauls froze our beloved Caesar! Legionaries, attack! Asterix, he has my men here! By Jupiter, it's mine! No way! You're not handling it right! Like things are heating up, Asterix. Your 
Turn it to me. I am the men here, Carrier. No, I am. This town isn't big enough for the two of us. Multi-attack! If you want my opinion, Asterix, we're in a bit of a pinch. Oh, things just get more complicated, Obelix. I'm too tired. Asterix! you please no! we could have him as a stunning statue in the village center no friends let's do what he would never do let's give him back his freedom that's you all over get a fix you're right get a fix dear druid obelix ask your many to free caesar why jupiter F -f thank you Indomitable Gauls, this battle was supposed to end with my victory. Without a doubt, my unquestionable victory. It has been a failure. And as Caesar always says, war gives the victors the right to impose whatever they choose on the vanquished. What is he talking about, Asterix? He's quoting himself. These Caesars are crazy. Once again, you have won. Ask of me what you will. Very well. In that case, order your troops to leave Thule. And then go home, Julius. As you wish. Mark Caesar's words. Your wish is my command, Gauls. Thule shall be freed within the next few days. And in the ages to come, nobody shall ever guess that Romans once set sandal on the island of Thule. I shall return to Rome. But it isn't over yet. Until we meet again. We wouldn't expect any less of you, Julius. He came, he saw... He lost. Oh, that's a stroke of luck. I've been playing around with a little poem about Gaulish bravery. It doesn't matter, Avena. I'll get it engraved and get postal districts deliver it to you. Gauls, you have proved yourselves worthy and brave, Asterix. You have been an unparalleled protector of the precious Schneifelherger Jökel and Obelix. You carried the crystal menhir and its formidable power like no one else. That menhir is terribly charming. Even Dogmatics was starting to get a bit jealous. Once again, the Schneifelherger Jökel showed how dangerous it could be in the wrong hands. And that's why I solemnly ask that you destroy it at the next full moon. We promise you, wise Avena. Get a fix, my dear friend. Please accept this gift as a thanks for everything you have done for my people, for my island, for Sul, and as a souvenir of our meeting. Oh, Avina, I... Oh, it's just a... Oh. Don't say anything, dear friend. Thank you, again. They celebrated the success of their extraordinary adventure with a traditional banquet that ran on late into the star-filled night. Obelix forgot his beloved men here once the roast boar was served, and Asterix entertained the villagers with tales of their incredible odyssey. Only Getafix, a touch nostalgic, 
allowed his mind to wander back to the past as he gazed at his friend Avina's gift.